back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 must have brushes. It's going to be something that's going to help guide most of you guys that are just starting with makeup and you don't really know because brushes can be a pretty overwhelming topic. Am I right or am I right? Yes, it can be very overwhelming. I've had my fair share of just trying things that just literally sit in my brush kit and I don't use. I wanted to keep this like top 10, top five, like I try to keep it catchy. And it just so happens that the brushes that I use every day just so happen to be able to, I'm able to actually narrow them down into 10. 10 might be a little overwhelming, but I'm going to name multiple different options that you can choose from. You don't have to choose the one brush. I'm going to be talking about the type of brush. You can take that type and get it from anywhere to suit your budget needs. That is a very, very important part of this video that I want you to take away. So first, you are always, no matter what, you're going to need a foundation brush. Some people like to use their hands. I personally prefer to use a brush. I just like the way it blends a lot better. One of my favorite brushes that I was using for a long time is this one from e.l.f. This is actually their brush, their powder brush, but it applies foundation like a dream. It's three dollars, honey, not three dollars. OK, but around here we call it dollars and damn it, it competes with all my other high end brushes like I live for this brush. Another foundation brush that I've really taken a liking to lately is the um, so this is in my top pick, okay? But for other recommendations that I want you guys to also try if you're not really into e.l.f. or if you wanna try something else, Real Techniques has an amazing buffing brush. I've been using this for foundation lately. Blends foundation like a dream. I'm really actually pleased with the Sigma F80. It actually is a really, really, really good brush. It's nice and dense. It really gets that foundation. As you can see, what the common denominator here is I like flat head brushes. I think they perform amazingly well and I just love the way it just melts the foundation into the skin. The last foundation brush that I want to recommend is this one from Sonia Kashuk. I wasn't expecting this one to perform as well as Sonia Kashuk has been blowing me away a lot lately and this brush I can hardly ever find it on the website so I'll try to include as many links to all of these products as I can. I can never find this one but if you see this one in stores this is the tools number four brush. Next thing you're going to need definitely like hands down I'm a big powder freak. I have oilier skin, so those of you guys with drier skin types, this may not be as pressing for you, but I have to have powder like almost every day, whether it's a translucent, a setting powder, that's like non-negotiable. My favorite in particular, one that I always get asked about because it just looks so soft and luxurious, is this one from Sigma. This is the F20 large powder. I've been using this brush for about two years now. This is like the only powder brush I use like ever it's amazing it is amazing before I was using the Sigma F 20 I was using the Mac 150 yeah this is the Mac 150 great alternative not as good as the one from Sigma I'm not gonna lie I love the one from Sigma way more than I do this one from Mac just because it's got more bristles so you get more I feel like you just get more product on with the Sigma one I'm not really a big fan of contouring but I always say have a good like contour slash bronzing brush that can also double as a blush brush. I'm a huge fan of these taper. I call them the genie brushes because they just look like genie in a bottle, but they look like your standard blush brush, except they're tapered at the cent at the center. There's a lot of streaky looking contour on YouTube. I'm just going to keep it 100. Okay. Personally, I'm not a fan. I like everything to kind of blend nicely and I really feel like this brush does that for me. Right after I do my bronzer I take the same brush and I apply my blush. Same thing. Nice, beautiful, just get it on. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the Sigma F25. I used to think this was the most pointless brush until I tried it and I was like oh now I get it. Now I get it. There was just something going on with the highlight for me for a while and I just didn't feel right using a regular blush brush for a while and I have to say this is one of those gimmicks that I'm all about because the fan brush is just everything for me. This one I have is from Monda Studio. I bought this one at Nigel's in North Hollywood. Every girl, every girl must have an eyeshadow blending brush. This is non-negotiable. Unless you are a queen of blending who is good at what she does, she doesn't even use blending brushes, you have to have one. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush ever, 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 ever. 
I don't know what it is about this brush. It's the density of the brush. It's the quality of the brush. It doesn't shed. You know who else has amazing blending brushes is Sugar Pills. Sugar Pills tapered brush. I don't know if they have tapered blending and crease blush or brush. Amazing, 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 amazing. It blends like a dream. It's super soft, like super, in, like impossibly soft. I think what it is that I like about these two brushes is they have the perfect amount of like the wideness of the brushes. They just give me, they're, they're so fluffy. I love them, I love them, I love them. The next brush that you would definitely need is an eyeshadow brush. So this is gonna be your brush that's going to apply your pigments, your solid shadows, anything of that nature that you're going to want to apply in a very very high concentrated area like the eyelid even on the brow bone even on the lips and one of my favorites in particular is um actually let's go back to mac i think it's the 239 i have it in my brush belt somewhere but if those if you aren't familiar with the 239 it looks a lot like the e55 eyeshadow brush from sigma same idea same concept they're shaped about the same the one from Sigma is a little denser, so I actually prefer this one to the MAC one. And then I have one from, um, excuse me, Sugar Pill, which is actually larger. So same idea, same concept. Anytime you see a brush that's really, really dense, remember, it's for concentrated amounts of color. Anytime you see one that's fluffier, that is for that airbrush when you want a softer wash of color, anything that is going to be more, just more soft, more airbrush. And I, what I like about these is, for example, the Sigma one is it doubles as a blending brush on the bottom lash line. My eye shape in particular, like pencil brushes, just do not really do it for my eye shape on the bottom lash line. So I really find that I get a better concentration of color and just a better blended look along the bottom lash line when I use a fluffier brush such as this one and then I love 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 what spoolies do for my brows I just love what they do I for years I was using like brow brushes you know the dual where it's like a comb on one side and then a brush on the other they just don't do it for me for me anymore spoolies just get them brow hairs honey like right now I could use a little mm-hmm Everybody needs an angle brush because not only, for example, if you're not using it for your brows, how else are you gonna apply eyeliner? You definitely need to have an eyeliner brush. The last brush that I wanted to introduce is actually not a brush, but it is a tool and this is my absolute must-have tool that pretty much just stunts on all of this. And this is my beauty blender sponge. I can't, I can't, I can't. Consider me less of a woman. If I'm not willing to apply my makeup without a beauty blender, it's just my weapon of choice. That's just how I roll. That's just what I does. That's just what it'd be like for me. I, the beauty blender is just the sun, the mute, the moon, and the stars for me. Okay. I've yet to try a, I'm not going to say knockoff, but I'm going to say an alternative that I'm satisfied with. I just put it that way. You're going to invest in a reusable sponge, get the original, leave the mother ones alone, leave them alone. They're okay. I mean, they, they work, they perform, but if you want the original Beauty Blender performance, you have to get the original Beauty Blender. Hands down, it's the best. It's the best. The softness, the shape, I love it, I love it. I prefer, they come in black, they come in pink, and then I think they have the mini green ones. The mini green ones, I can live without. I haven't even tried that, I'm not even gonna mess with that one. But these, the full size ones, I'm here for, all the way here for. I use them under the eyes, I use them all over the face. All of these brushes that I'm recommending, to, that all of these tools that I'm recommending to you, I should say, all have multiple different uses, and this is why I chose to talk about them. And when it comes to the Beauty Blender, it's just that tool that just does 50 million different things. I love using it with my foundation brushes because sometimes foundation brushes do leave streaks behind. So it's really great to kind of go back in, really get into the hair, really just blends into the hairline nicely. And I love it, I love it. I don't want this to become a beauty blender review. So that pretty much ends my top brushes that I wanna to recommend to you guys, my top tools that I wanna to recommend to you guys. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, please be sure to let me know. That's my top 10 beauty tools that I want to recommend to you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoy. If you did, please let me know in the comments and of course, thumbs up this video because you want to see more awesome ones just like this and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you at the next video. Bye. What's up, all this? Say cheese. <laughs>